Our next bout of the evening is another professional MMA bout. She goes for three five-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Out of the red corner, Steve Simmons. So our second of two pro MMA fights this evening. This one will be contested in the light heavyweight division. 205 pounds, the weight limit for that division. I don't think this is accurate because these guys weighed in at 165. All right, so somebody's information is wrong somewhere. <laughs> Let me look at some of that. Yeah official boxing commission card here. I only and know this because I had the pleasure of competing <laughs> against Steven Simmons twice. Yeah. And it was nowhere near the light heavyweight <laughs> limit. Yeah, this is a 165 pound fight. Good. Glad to know both these guys are in shape for this. <laughs> <laughs> and Steven Simmons watched him fight a good number of times. Have not seen this gentleman in the cage or the ring for quite a while. So nice to see that he's back in action. and. And coming in with the full theatrics. I love it. <laughs> Can you name the wrestler? I'm going with The Undertaker. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Corner man, mimicking Paul Bearer. What I remember of this guy, he was really good stand up and uh, kind of a, a showboat. Uh, spectacular spinning moves. Um, definitely unorthodox, but super talented. Strong Muay Thai background. He does lift himself as a striker and. I'm in 100% agreement with that. Like I said, having had the pleasure of watching Mr. Simmons compete a number of times, that is his forte. I just remember seeing one of his spinning back fist knockouts, which was very impressive. And uh, I remember the the amount of time that we've shared in the cage. Uh, he's definitely a very talented individual. Good times, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but fond memories of playing punchy kicky. <laughs> uh, Definitely excited to see kind of uh, how he's improved since the last time I've seen him. And uh, <laughs> he looks in great shape. Big smiles. Definitely the showman. Out of the blue corner, Eric Adams. And Mr. Simmons, I apologize because I'm not remembering the name of him, but I believe had his own striking school for a time as well. So uh, had some time off from competing as a fighter in order to be a coach, had a lot of success, put out good fighters, and now making his return to the ring. Coaching can definitely improve you as a fighter, but uh, he's he's now competing against the young and dangerous Eric Adams. Mr. Hey. Adams representing Mile High Muay Thai and pound for pound Muay Thai. Again, Justin Houghton, former Bellator fighter in his corner. Go ahead, Drew. I mean, he trains out a very solid gym, but making his pro debut against the guy that has so much uh, experience in the cage is, is, is very impressive. But um, I've had the privilege of being able to train with this man, and uh, um, it should be a great fight. Well, Steve Simmons is the elder at 39 years old. He's the shorter of the two at 5'8", made 165 pounds. Pro record of three wins and six losses. CS is his listed style. And we got Eric Adams. 29 years old, standing 5 feet 11, weighing in at the great weight class of 165, <laughs> making his pro debut, and he's definitely a striker. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a professional MMA bout scripted for three five-minute rounds at 165 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the King of Bears, Budweiser, red corner. He is a striker with a professional record of three wins and six losses, standing five foot, eight inches tall. He weighed in at 163.8 pounds with the farm from Alt, Colorado, Steve the Hyena Salmon! Fighting out of the Australia Helico blue corner. He is a striker, making his professional debut. Setting five foot, 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 165.2 pounds with 10th planet and pound for pound from Inglewood, Colorado, Eric the Wiz Adam! Reverie Joy. 
So a little Colorado trivia for you. Mr. Simmons out of Alt, Colorado. A-U-L-T stands for A Unique Little Town. Oh, wow. I'm surprised and impressed that you know that. <laughs> Colorado native here. All right, Simmons wearing the pink and Adams wearing the yellow. Full strikers and uh, we'll see how much wrestling they, uh, they do in these 15 minutes. I expect lots of striking in this fight. Simmons are starting off with his leg kicks. We is able to target nicely to the liver with his opening shot. Switching stances back and forth quite smoothly is Adams. Adam showing a, a kind of better octagon oh. control and a beautiful head kick. Landed nicely and again. Simmons still so, staying composed and still in the fight. I'd like to see him do a little better job of circling away from this fence, though. He took back the center. Simmons had some really good leg kicks, but I think he's just set it up with, uh, with his hands. Adams is, uh, is doing a better job of that. Adams disguised that second leg kick there nicely with his hands. Adams doing a nice job of mixing his kicks. Going leg kick, going liver kick, body kick, head kick. Off to the other side. Adams is kind of leaning in with his chin, which I'm not a huge fan of, but Simmons is not able to take advantage of it. And I think Simmons hurt, got hurt to the liver. I think so, and that head kick stunned him as well, and that's going to be it. Simmons covered up, was just on the receiving end, and yeah, no, it might be a rib. Rib or liver, you're, you called it, Drew. I think the ref, you know, was a little uh, quick to stop that fight, but uh, I mean, it's looking at uh, Simmons is not complaining at all. It's, uh, it's a pro fight, I agree. Got to kind of make sure the fighter's giving it everything that he has, but immediately Simmons lets himself out of the cage and be looked at by the doctor, so. And he was pointing at either the liver or the rib. I couldn't tell which. I, I got a feeling it's, it's the rib, but uh, uh, Adam's uh, switch kick was smooth and forceful. Adam's was on point with his kicking this evening, and as I alluded to, really mixed his kicks nicely. Well, he did a good job of setting it up with his hands where Simmons came out and just threw naked kicks, which is very hard to land uh, you know, good kicks without throwing your hands. So Adams gets his professional debut victory and shows us why he is in the professional ranks now. Receives a congratulations to Mr. Simmons, and we'll take it up to Stewie for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joel Hayda called us out of this about one minute, 32 seconds into the first round, declaring your winner by TKO, Eric the Wiz Adam! Get excited, Sparta! I'm here with your winner, Eric Adams. Eric, man, I gotta know, when you hit it, did you feel it break? The liver? Yeah. Um, I didn't feel a break, but I felt it laying clean. I knew I heard him, but I wasn't acting like I knew. I was just trying to play cool. You know, I, yeah. 15 minutes is a long time. Yeah. And you gotta be prepared to fight the entire time. So I didn't get overzealous. I think a lot of my experience played into that, so. That's exciting, man. And, and you got back into the cage and you wanted to take this fight. You told me earlier, why'd you want to take this fight? Well, I've been doing Muay Thai for a long, long time, and it's just been too hard to get fights. And honestly, I wanted to do MMA the whole time anyways. So it was just a good opportunity to do that, and I'm happy to showcase my skill. Honestly, I'm like not even bruised up or anything, so I'd like to get back in there soon. Let's get another fight. Did you hear that, Vern? Let's get this guy another fight. Hey, I fought on uh, STL uh, 50. It'd be cool to fight on 100 as well. Yeah, get that, Jeff, huh? Hey, also, I want to thank my beautiful wife putting up with me these last couple weeks. I haven't seen much of her, so I'll look forward to doing that. Well, he took the words right out of my mouth, guys. Let's get back to those fights. Here's Stewie. Thank you, Eric.
Congratulations, Mr. Adams. Welcomes himself to the professional ranks by way of a victory. You always have to thank your wife because they have the hardest job.